Okay, you see this pattern? I'm going to explain to you this not random and these opportunities that we talk about, the big shifts in the market, three times, four times a day. Now we're coming up to five times a day for each of us. At, uh, there's a reason for them. Let me explain. It's going to get a little technical. So I remember I have my Securities Investment uh, uh, yeah, my Securities Investment Institute's funds license and Chicago. Oh, anyway, I just want you to understand that there's a real reason for this, and you, once you know this, you don't have to understand all the technology, but once you know it, you're going to win. And especially seeing we have on Monday a new opportunity showing up in carbon with some enhancements, as you can see from the thing I put out in Telegram group for us guys, and it came out in Carbon's update, also came out in Carbon official Facebook, a quick note about what's coming on Monday. So this new tool is really going to enhance what I'm about to show you here. All right, now, you might think this is a little funny, right? We see these, these markets a certain time in each of the major markets, right? Sydney, Australia now has come on board and they're doing it. The next one right after that is the Singapore market. The one that comes on after that is the Moscow market. All right. The next one that comes on after that is the London market. And the last one to come on in the, as the clock and the sun moves across the earth is the New York market. And we see these major pumps. The market's driven. Then we see it kind of hang on. And then we see it come straight back down again. All right, you know what this is called in old terms? This, <laughs> you had to laugh at this. Let me see. <laughs> what the heck is Bart Simpson? That's a Bart Simpson pattern. It really is. See, it resembles Bart's head. That's what we call it in the trading circle. I know it's crazy. Bart Simpson, he gets in everything, right? So see the resemblance? So let's explain how this happens. And then once you know it's real, it's, it's not just a funny occurrence, it's real. And it's being played, right? It's not the whales, it's the institutions. Which are the whales today? Now, you know, the whales that were in Bitcoin before are now being replaced by the institutions. And they know how to do this. So let me explain how this works. Really simple. Once you know, you can take advantage of this. And this new tool that Kevin's bringing out is going to really take advantage because you're going to be able to be in the trades and then get out. And then be in the trades and get out. There won't be any stuck trades. So... The Bart Simpson, I wrote it out here so you can walk along with me. The Bart Simpson pattern, it occurs when an unexpected spike, right? Here we go. See my mouse here? Boom. Unexpected spike in price is followed by a sideways movement. Here's the sideways movement. And subsequently, there's this sudden drop, right? The chart pattern takes on a pattern of Bart's head. Now, I've got or drop or spike because, you know, it happens the other way sometimes going upside down. But on these markets, it's always this, this venture usually, right? So this, here's his head and the pattern. There's a spike. It's driven up. The market kind of chills out sideways for a short period of time. This is a five-minute chart, right? I've got it on a five-minute chart, and then boom, it drops down. This is only just, uh, you know, um, on my time. What time was this? This is just at uh, uh, yesterday lunchtime. Okay, this was the, um, was this the Moscow one? Anyway. It's just, just in the last 24 hours. It just chose a random, same pattern that's occurring four or five times a day. So we get a spike, there's a sideways movement, and a dump. Sometimes there's a sideways movement only for a matter of minutes, and then the dump. So what's going on? Let's explain it in technical terms, right? Remember Bart, here we go. There's a big buy order, right? So as soon as there's a large buy order issued, Right? These are institutions. They're usually on the phone together, sending out a message to each other to do this, to run the market up. So that lead, and when that order, here's the last resistance over here. Sorry, I got my market. Uh, anyway, here's the last little bit of resistance. So they start to initiate it. And as soon as that order breaches the high, high resistance from the last mark place, so look here, as soon as it does that, these institutions, they use their relatively large trading volumes, right? They got some huge amounts to trade with, and they execute a long position. So as soon as they get it to here, they execute a long. And the direct impact is this, where's my mouse, unexpected spike, right? And so what that is, in technical terms, it's a shift in demand, 
right? Supply and demand. That's how this market works. So a great big buy order and it drives this spike. Why does the spike blister up in 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes? Or in some cases, 2, 3, 4 minutes. How can it possibly do that? It's really simple. They know it. Now I'm going to teach you how you can know it too and gain. I want you to win on this, right? So because of the resulting demand, right, the resulting demand surplus in this price, and it's pushed up even higher because there's not enough Bitcoin. I'm going to use Bitcoin here because I want the Bitcoin chart, right? Because this demand surplus, there's more demand than actual coins being traded, right? It's pushed even higher because there's not enough Bitcoin BTC available for the price or whether it's whatever other coin you're trading, right? So every single sell position above this current price here, once it starts to run, all the sell positions in these spots that are sitting there, people waiting to sell at a higher price, they're accepted without restriction. The exchange has to do this, right? Otherwise, they get... The, the, uh, how do I explain this to them? It's stripping their order books, right? So the exchange, all of a sudden, without restrictions, starts accepting each one of these sell orders before they even really get to point they're going to get reached, right? There's no restriction. So the trading price is pushed even higher until that big trade, that huge demand volume of that huge buy order is filled. Boom. And it reaches here where it's fully expected. Got that? As soon as it breaks this level, they put in this monster order. So it's always they're doing it at a certain time. There's more demand. There's a demand surplus because it's a buy order. So the exchange, because it's stripping the order books, it starts accepting all the sell orders that are stacked waiting in the order book. It starts accepting them without any restriction, which drives this price up even further. They've only done it to about here, and it runs it all the way up. So you see how they're playing it? Now what happens is we're up here, and we get this accumulation phase is what we call it, right? The market's reached like I call a new equilibrium, right? It's chilled out. That's remember all my clips I talk about. It's chilling out, right? The open orders are all satisfied and the market's consolidated. That's what they call it. Consolidated. It feels like constipation. <laughs> I don't know. So there's a new price now, right? This is There's a new price being set. And away it goes. Now it should hang on, right? This one hang on. But it comes back down. And it comes back down because... It's going to come back to the original price, but because this was a, you know, a, an over demand, but also these guys initiate it. You watch what happens. So there's a new price set, and it's just chilling out for a short period of time. And we're seeing this happening quicker and quicker and quicker. So then there's a monster sell order. The same institutions, right? A large sell order is issued. See, before... What we were seeing is each one of these markets, right? Sydney, Singapore, Moscow, I keep repeating them, London, New York, right? It used to just be Singapore, London, New York. Now we got Sydney and Moscow in the mix, so we got five of them during the day. We were getting this one movement, now we're taking huge advantage, and then it just stair-stepped down, right? Just stair-stepped each way, all the way down like this, slowly. Now we're seeing that these guys are getting really greedy. So they institute a huge sell order. It's a large sell orders issued and the market's now faced with a liquidity problem. Because they initiate this monster sell order, they're going to actually do this same play, right? The playbook they ran here, they're doing the same play, but they're doing it in the other direction. It still works the same. So what happens? A large order is placed by those institutions knowing that it cannot easily be satisfied by the exchange because it's chilled out here. It's chilled out. They know. The order books are going to be completely stripped out, right? There's people starting to put in prices to sell. So the, what happens? The exchange faced with an oversized price shift. It was faced with a shift in demand here. Now it's faced with another oversized price shift on this side. And every single buy position below the current trading price, which was here, all those buy positions, they're accepted without restrictions. So it's, they put in this huge order, it runs it down, and the exchange is about to get stripped out on the order book. So now it starts to see it chills out a little bit, but then everybody else, and wham, down it comes again. So they make their money on the way up, the institute comes in, and then they do this. We can do this too, right? You got that? 
The exchange is faced with it being an oversized price shift. Every single buy position below that current price is the current price. All the buy positions now, people want to buy at a certain price. They're hoping to catch it coming back down. They're all, all filled. They're all accepted without any restrictions. Instead of it having to match and all that, it's just it's exactly what happens. It's an exchange looking after their own butt. So, so when the bottom's reached, the market starts to settle, consolidate again, and the sideways movement starts all over again. Right? Now we see this, the desired result, the trading price is pushed down instantly until the trade's fully executed. And when the bottom's reach, it's all, that's it. It starts going sideways all over again. And we wait for the next market. We wait for the next major, major uh, uh, population and, and financial market to be first thing in the morning, five, six o'clock in the morning for them. And they play the same game again and again and again. What's that mean? Be like Bart. <laughs> Be like Bart, and you could win with this. And why am I excited about this? Because I'm excited now. With the, I, I have not seen this new tool, but I understand what it's going to be. I guarantee it, right? Kevin's going to have a new... Well, I won't get into it. There's a, there's a new tool, new algorithms, a new pattern coming, and that will get us where we're not stuck in these trades, where we get in along, and it comes back here, and we're stuck. We're going to be able to be in, execute trade, be out, be in, execute trade, be out. I watched a couple the other day. I saw it in action, actually. I saw it happening on yours. You would have caught it. I'm trying to think of the coin. I think it was FTM. was in and out in less than two minutes, right? So we're starting to see that. Great. 11 minutes and 41 seconds. Look for Be on that webinar. Okay, be on the webinar. If you're brand new to this, look in the links below. I'll put a description. If you're someone... On the internet, and you found me. There's a link you can get started. Like if you're not in carbon, get started in carbon. Whoever's introducing you to it, it's a it's a the best, the best platform I can see. And just like everyone that's out there promoting, it's not a great big network marketing venture. There's a hundred percent win rate. It's not because we, yes, sweetheart, I'll help you with your shoes. Yes, it's not because we pick a hundred percent wins. That's because our money management system in carbon. Money manages to trade to always a win rate. So, see you on the other side. See you along like a sausage. See you around like a rissole in a wild crocodile. What's the other one you say? See you later, alligator. Yeah, you going to say goodbye to them all? Quick. Mm, keep my mouth shut. All right, see you guys. Use this. Save it.